Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple poster design uh, using some simple techniques. Uh, actually, it's really simple and if you want to gift uh, a poster to your family members or to your friends in this holiday season, then I guess this will be a perfect tutorial for you guys. And if you don't want to design yourself and you still want a gift, then I'm there for you. Please send an email to me and my email address is in the description list below. So with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. So Control N and I'll just go with 4 by 5 inches resolution to 300 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And right after that, let's uh, drag and drop this uh, image over here. I'll just keep it right around here. And let's drag and drop this uh, image right over here to control T. Let's make a rotation. Yep. Let's keep it like that. And you know what? Let's make a copy control J and then Yep, let's keep it like that and let's merge this two layer control E. Oh, and then let's get an eraser tool and let's erase this this part so yep something like that and let's go to the brush and with the same brush let's go for a hard brush and let's paint this with black and let's go over here apply a, a color apply a color overlay and then yep I will just go with kind of off-white and let's rasterize this layer style so this is what we have now let's keep it under this layer and again control T let's go to the brush and let's fill this space all right now let's drag and drop another image so let's keep it right over here and let's keep this under this layer control T and let's make it somewhere around this size and let's move it a little bit over here control T let's keep it right over here and let's create a new layer go to the brush and I will just go with the soft general brush and let's make this a little darker and let's add a certain kind of separation shadows right over here and then let's go to the eraser tool and let's erase let's go for a soft rust again and let's erase some of these parts yep just like that control G let's maybe let's move it right over here control G let's make it a little bigger yep something like that all right now let's add some text so let's change the uh, font uh, to uh, bold I guess yep and then let's make a copy and then let's change the font text to let's change the font to this one And let's make all of them a little smaller. Yep, just like so. And let's keep it maybe right over here. Yep, just like that. And now let's add a clips over here. And again, go to the text tool. Let's click over here. And let's change the font to this one. And let's make it bold and let's go to the windows let's turn on the character and let's make it a caps lock and let's make it a little smaller yeah just like that and then let's turn that off control J let's make a copy control T 
and then let's make it thin and then let's make a one more copy control J control T yep let's keep it like that and let's uh, change the font size a little smaller and let's make the middle one a little bigger yep just like so and then let's make this one a little bigger too yep just like that and control t let's make it a little smaller yep and let's keep it right over here all right now let's add a one more text and then let's change it to uh, black italic control t let's make it bigger and let's keep this right over here let's select all of them control t and let's move it maybe somewhere around here yep just like and let's add a rectangle maybe right over here and alt and drag let's make a copy and then let's make alt and drag another copy and let's change it to a little lighter color and then let's make this kind of off-white yep just like so and let's select all these rectangles and let's skip it maybe right over here and it's just a decoration element so if you want to keep it it's okay and if not you can remove that too let's keep it one right over here so i got this texture from from here so if you want to get this the texture file please check on the description list below and thank you uh adi for i don't know if i pronounce your name correctly or not thank you so much for providing this awesome texture let's drag and drop uh, this texture right over here and control t let's uh, make it smaller so that it just fits over here and then maybe right over here and i'll just rotate it uh, over here and control t maybe let's flip it particularly up let's keep it like that and let's change the blending mode to screen and control t and let's uh, move this text a little up control t yep just like so yep maybe let's keep it like that and again let's uh go over here control t let's make it a little bigger yep something like that and now let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it under this layer and right click create clipping max so it will just stays over there and let's drop down the opacity just like so and control t let's make it a little smaller smaller yep let's keep it something like that and now let's do a final color touch up so select uh, this layer go to filter let's go to the camera raw filter and uh, let's uh, 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 increase the shadows just like so let's increase the clarity yep just like so and even texture too and let's drop down the highlights right around here and let's increase the exposure just like so and let's go to the detail tab and let's increase the noise reduction yep maybe let's keep it like that and let's go to the color mixture and let's go to the saturation tab and let's drop down the saturation for orange and yellows too just like so yep let's
yep let's keep it like that I've even increase the texture too and yes let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this layer so select this one go to filter and let's apply the camera raw filter yep just like so Control T let's keep it a little down yep maybe somewhere around here and for these rectangles let's keep them a little up Control T yep let's keep it like that and let's add a small text on the top and let's keep it maybe right around here and let's change the color to white and let's keep it under this layer so yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye